So this is Limb from Limb, where we are going to play a uh, roulette card game to be part of, for a chance to be part of a limb regrowth program. If you're confused, I'm just as confused. <laughs> I, I'm assuming it's similar to Buckshot Roulette, which I have not personally played, but I've seen a lot of gameplay for. No, I just I saw the I saw the trailer and I was like, yeah, we could play, we could play that. Welcome, patient. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our limb regrowth program. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry, you're not alone. There is another patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing, but luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility, with the human statuette representing you. Your goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful, some tiles, represented by various colors, will initiate certain events, and you might not find all of them to be pleasant. A small cabinet has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions, and left-click to move them on and off the provided medical tray to equip them. Be sure to use your items strategically, as once they are used, they are gone forever. In the case that you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. Great. That seems I didn't really absorb any of that. Um, but that that seems like a like a good time. So let's do that. Hello. Oh, what's that yellow one? What does that do? Choose one item to add to your collection. A uh, camera with the ability to detect heat signals. Use this to reveal all cards currently in your hand. A cross bearing the likeness of an idol of worship. Used a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any. Uh, let's go with this one. Yo, this, I guess. Oh, I got two items at one time. That's wild. Uh, severed hand. It's still warm. Discard all cards in your current hand and redraw new ones or reshuffle all playing cards. A garden snake whose aroma is that of flowers and vinegar. Reveal all cards in the enemy's hand. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh, my camera hates this one too. Alright. Another item. That's surprising. What's the blue for? Pocket knife. A well-aged pocket knife. It's blade more blunt than sharp. Reveal an enemy card. This reveals... I'm gonna go with that again because it reveals all the cards. Uh-oh. What's that? There's a finger on there. What is that? During your encounters with the other patient, a standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All 
over a field of cards will be moved to the discard pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you have used all the cards in your hand. Of course, a new deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the discard pile. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences. But if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. If three jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws the third joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards, when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Should you win the game, you will be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you will permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. This procedure is still a work in progress after all. Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project, and you will be retired. Any fingers you collect from your opponents can be kept in trade for items in the item shop, the location of which is noted in blue on the game board. You can see your collection of fingers in a jar located in the game board room cabinet. In case you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph located in the game board room. My camera is hitting everything today. Hello, sir. Oh, okay. Hello. Huh. Okay. So, what do we do? What's that? Safe. Ha <laughs> ha. Real. What do you get? I didn't see his. Safe. Ew. What do you get? What? Just app? I have no idea what just happened. I'm so confused right now. Safe. <laughs> Safe. So there's one death card left in this stack, and it could be me, it could be him. Check mine. Oh, he has both the death cards. Gross, my dude. Do I keep your fingers? Am I getting your fingers? Where's your fing- Oh. Hello. I guess I'm not gonna bite mine off because I'm not as badass as you. Uh, yeah. One death card in this one. Okay. <laughs> you got the death card. He ain't got many left. He that's a, what his third one. Hey. So, oh, there his fingers are gone now. Um, he's got two fingers left. So, when his fingers are gone, I assume... Ugh, get your tongue away from me. The game ends. What's up? 
What did the Joker do? I forgot. Oh my god, there's so many, my dude. What's the Joker do? So we select either hand, death cards present, all are removed. If none, lose your finger. What? Huh? Ooh, I successfully removed a death card out of my thing. Beginner's luck, I guess. Get away from me! Yes. Nanner. Nanner, Nanner. Shit. Dude, sorry. I win! Item collection. Where's my fingers? What do you mean? I won five fingers. Why aren't they showing any fingers? Hmm. What's that? Ooh, item! That's funny, I think. So at the shop. Do did I get how many finger what is that? What's that? Oh, I can't read it. Uh I think that's the fingers I've collected. Pickled snake, eye of foresight. Uh reveal a selected card's value? Alright, let's just not do that for now because I'm unsure. Alright. Nice! I'm getting all of the options and the items too. A bone from an avian creature that is said to bring good luck when broken forces the enemy to take another turn. Hell yeah. I feel like I'm gonna lose a finger. I feel like it was set up the first time to be. What is that? That wasn't there before. We in a what is that? Sup, friend? What's up, friend? Ah! Mine the fingers. <laughs> That's rude as hell. Oh, there's three in here. Let me use one of my snakes, cause at least then I'll know. He has two death thing death cards, so I've got a death card in mine. So I'm going to lose at least one. Yep, there we go. Bad finger. Uh, bleh, gross. But that's, that's it. I won't lose any more this time. Lose your finger, biatch.
Look at all the needles hanging out of him. He's been experimented on for a long time. What's going on there? Okay. Your turn. Bite your finger. Alright. Now, there's two death cards. Got a joker. Be safe. <laughs> My finger! <laughs> uh. Safe. Thank God. I only have two left. God, there's a 50 50 chance. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Bite it off, bitch. So he is five. Let's see. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. They set me up. I've been set up. <laughs> I didn't see what he got, but... Fuck me, I am screwed. He wins this one. Wait, you permanently lose two fingers? So does that include him too? I wonder if that includes him too. Forces your opponent to redraw their current here. Let's do this one just in case. Do I get to choose what goes with me? Place items and trade to bring with you to the game. How do I? Okay. Okay, I'm taking everything. I don't know what I'm doing. Dang it! I bet I have. Does that mean this dude has three fingers now? Yeah, I lose two fingers automatically, so I'm only on three. What is that? But does he have three? It doesn't look like he, it looks like he has. No, it looks like he has three. Okay, I'm using something because I can't afford. Uh, let's do this. You cute snake. Okay, so he at least has one. Uh, take another turn, my dude. What the fuck? <laughs> this last card is a death card. Goodbye, finger.
three in this one. Good. You deserve it. Blech. So that's two. Yes. Oh god. Fuck! <laughs> My finger! <laughs> Okay. Sir, why are you staring at me so hard? Alright, let's just use these. I don't have anything else I can do. Oh, he's got two death cards. And how many is two? Oh, motherfucker. <clears throat> yep. Eat a dick. Damn it! Hi! Nice to see you again! There's four death cards in here and, you know, doesn't even matter because I got one finger left. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm mm mm. He's got all my fingers. He's using them in the shop to buy things. Disgusting. Gross. Damn, did he get all the death cards in his? <laughs> nope, I got one and I lose. Go team. Goodbye! Goodbye, cruel world! You know what? I didn't even want to play your game no more! I didn't want to do it no more! It's fine! I didn't want to draw those cards anymore anyway! So that is Limb from Limb! That was pretty fun. This is a free game on Steam, so I will include it in the link below. And until next time, if somebody offers you a deal that seems too good to be true, it probably is. Don't go into someone's weird hospital and do card roulette for a limb regrowth program. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Okay, bye.